Hey, what's going on, guys? It's a brand new event week for GTA 5 Online. What all do we have going on this week, you may ask? Well, let's see. To begin with, we have double GTA money and RP on Rockstar Created Transform Races. Basically, just stunt races, and that pretty much sums it up. I mean, it's it's okay. Um, it's something to do if you just want to earn a little bit of money, but, I mean, it's it's probably not going to pay you that great unless you were to win and if you maybe if you were consistent and did all of them I don't know <clears throat> I only did a couple and it was okay anyway moving on um, you got biker clubhouse contracts so if you've got a clubhouse and you've got a couple of dudes or whatever that can give you a hand do some contracts earn some, you know earn some pretty quick cash those missions um, are pretty pretty easy to do um, I think there's I can't remember exactly how many it is in total but it's 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 quite a few it, it's it's it and sometimes you can't pick them individually like I think there's like three that you can do like in a row right and after you get those three completed it'll randomly pick another three um, but again like I said you and a couple of people can knock it out real quick like smugglers run cell missions so if you've got a hanger you know make sure that you um, only try to possess one product uh, and fill it up because you'll get a bonus for it and the the narcotics, the medical supplies, and the chemicals are your three top tier of those. And, uh, you know, I suggest doing it with some friends. Don't try to do it alone. Get or sell. Um, it's, it's a real pain in the ass if you try to do it alone. And you may end up running into a situation where not only a another player can come after you but NPCs would come after you if you did it alone especially the cops the cops are assholes anyway um special cargo deliveries you add a 25% markup on special cargo deliveries through December 3rd and I believe that's what all of this is is this from now until December 3rd um, yeah. Um, thirty-five percent off on select high-end vehicles. You will be your Dinka Adjuster Classic, uh, your Grody X80 Proto, your Progen Tyrus, the Overflot Entity XF, the Uber Mach Revolter, and the Class A Drift Tampa. As I say it all the time, and you don't or have not watched one of these videos yet you'll hear me here you hear me say it often about certain vehicles not really being worth the expense and uh, honestly if you you know if you're a collector fine but if you don't have the cash for it out of all of these I don't know it's, it's a real real tough decision and 35 percent off isn't grand because most of these high-end cars are expensive um matter of fact if i'd say if you if you don't have the money don't even sweat this just roll on but if, you know of course as usual if you've got the money do whatever you want um up to 40% off select aircraft and heavy vehicles let's see what all does that cover take 40% off the mobile operations center and renovations the rhino tank cargo bob buckingham swift deluxe get 35% off the buckingham howard nx25 the nagasaki havoc and the buckingham alpha z1 now as far as this is concerned the 40% off definitely go for your MOC if you already have a bunker 
if you don't have a bunker, don't work. Don't no. Don't don't worry about it right now. Go ahead and focus on trying to get your money up and get that bunker first, and then go after the MOC. So whether it be if you've got the spare cash or if it goes on sale at, at a later time, if you can't afford to get it right now. <clears throat> um, the Swift Deluxe and the cargo bob the cargo bob yeah eh, you know it's one of those things that you got to say okay well am i am i going to use this to do import export um and try to minimize doing damage to the car not only you know to go pick it up but to drop it off that's entirely up to you personally i just drive all of mine i don't even worry about the cargo bob deal the Rhino, nah, that's another one. Unless you're a collector and you really want it, I wouldn't worry about it. But definitely check out that MOC. And as far as the the NX25, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. I haven't really heard any people talk about it too much. Then again, I haven't looked into it. Nor the Alpha Z1. These two right here, I really don't know. Um, this one in particular, the, the Nagasaki Havoc, it's a real bitch to land. Uh, you know, it's good if you're just trying to get from point A to point B. It's quick, it's nimble, and it can kind of take a little bit of a beating. But otherwise, it's, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Anyway, enough of me talking shit about that. 25% uh, off select weapons, ammo, and throwables, which basically comes down to assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, explosive ammo, uh, throwables, rocket launchers, and grenade launchers all week long. Uh, your throwables will be like your, you know, your grenades, uh, sticky bombs, pipe bombs, etc. Premium race, H200 locked to sports. Again, you know, I can't, you know, I would assume that if it's saying locked to sports, that it means specifically for sports cars, but I could be wrong. Again, I don't look into the premium races. Um, I don't do a whole lot of racing, period. You know, I get in and just fuck up shit. GTA is a really good stress reliever. If you're really pissed off and, and really need to, to get in and just let loose, GTA is the game for you. Um, let's see. Time trial, coast to coast. Again, it's another one of those pain in the ass races that you're. If you do win, you'll get like a little fifty thousand dollars, and a little bit of RP from it. You know, of course, with it being that it's doubled, it might actually be. I don't know. I don't know. It might it might would be worth it if you could if you could you know um complete it. But otherwise it'd probably be a waste of time. Because nine times out of ten, the time trials you're gonna go and you're gonna fail <laughs> and you're gonna fail and you're gonna fail and you're gonna fail. Um they're really a pain in the ass to, to get. Um I've said um a lot anyway I think that's gonna cover that don't really have anything else uh, specific to discuss regarding it um, I had seen like a reddit post somewhere where somebody has kind of like come up with this idea that the way they have done these double money and, and event weeks or whatever you want to call them have been like in a pattern I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't really look into it. Don't care. Um, a lot of these events or whatever, I just kind of skip right on by anyway because most of them suck ass. And you can't, if you're not able to do them, if you don't have a crew around and you can't do them solo, then there's really no fucking point in doing them. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you guys have a good one. Take care.